Hey guys, so today I wanted to start a series of videos reviewing some of the terrain that I have. Uh, these first couple kits are going to be from Black Slide Studios. I'll leave a link directly to the product down in the in the description of the video here. So our first one is going to be the McKeever's Pub. Now this set is $49.99 and we'll go over the dimensions here. It's going to be 8 inches across the front, uh, 8.5 inches along the sides, and you can see it's got some great detail. It's got a front door, back door. It's got this exposed brickwork along the sides. And you can see that that is actually layered. So it's uh, the brick underneath and then the white, almost like a stucco, is over top of that. And it's got this nice big sign right there in the front. Some bars on the windows. The bars are optional if you choose not to put them on or not. Uh, it's completely up to you. So the best part about this thing is it comes pre-painted and it's not just a line of sight blocking piece of terrain. So what we can do, if we can reach in and remove the roof and it has fully detailed interior. You can see interior. here, take the roof off and you can get a look inside. It has this nice bar that comes around and there's, a, there's an open area to the side there. So if you want to take your mini and have them kind of go on and have them go back bar. there and use the shelves that are mounted it comes behind with this the bar. table that's over here in the corner and has these two chairs with it. This is completely its own separate piece. Now, this table and chair are a little fiddly. So be careful when you're putting so you them together. Here, we got the front door. This is functional, so you can go in, or you can have the figures come to the outside. So back around the front here, there is a door behind the bar, so you can go in to this this back room area back here, and from there, you can go into this other smaller room, and from there, out the back door if you want to. So it's cool. It is very, very functional on the inside. So now, one thing you'll notice are there's a lot of these extra pieces. So it's an Irish pub. We've got some Irish flags. We've got some other designs over here. Some other, uh, other posters on the wall. There's a clock up behind there. So all I did is Google for Irish flags, Irish decorations, pub decorations, beer advertisements, whatever you want, printed them out on some standard paper, resized them down, cut them out, and then used Mod Podge to apply them on the inside. So they went on, they dried nice and clear, and we'll zoom in here. Some of the, the designs, they lose a little bit of detail once you get really close to them, but like that one there, I thought that was funny. It's a corkscrew that says screw it. So it's pretty cool. It just adds some character to an already really cool piece of terrain. All right, so just for reference here, we'll throw out some of the Manta Games Walking Dead All Out War miniatures, and you can see scale-wise how this looks, and it works really great. So you got one of the trucks with Rick and a handful of, of walkers coming there at him, and you can see how it looks front, side, it's, it looks really, really nice. Uh, but like the, the better part is when you take the roof off and you get inside of the building. All right, now I'm sure that this probably violates all kinds of fire codes, but I tried to jam as many walkers as I could into this. So over here in the corner, we have Liam and he is getting swarmed by ton of walkers. He's trying to use the table and the chair there as a shield. Uh, probably not going to be to any avail. And then in this back room here behind the bar, Derek has the other two members of his crew and they've got the door propped with the chair, but the walkers are coming through the other door, which they entered through the back side of the building. He said this thing has all kinds of entrances, so it's really, really cool for a narrative. So walkers come in. They're getting through that door, 
then they're getting through the other open door and out there ultimately to Liam. So body count wise, I was able to squeeze in 20 walkers into all throughout this, uh, this building there. So you can see they go all the way back there into the corner, all the way across the front, and then in that back area there as well. So again, this is the McKeever's pub set from Black Side Studios. It's a great kit. You can see this in all three of my Prelude to Woodbury videos. It's used there more so just to block off a chunk of the board. But go over and check out the site.